I'm gonna demonstrate blind contour now. Let's go for it. I'm using my like calming voice now because we're gonna slow these things down. I need somebody to do make a two minute timer for me, please. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so blind contour doesn't mean you're gonna be blind, right? It just means you're not looking at your paper at all. Okay. If for this one you feel more comfortable moving back to a pincher grasp, that's okay, um, because we are worried about detail in the, in this situation. Right? So for our first one, we're going to do two minutes on a very concentrated portion of the still life. Okay? You're not going to do the whole thing, you're just going to pick one subject in there. Right? Um, to keep things kind of like similar to what I was doing before, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the large uh, figure here. So I'll let you know. Right? So what you're going to do, the rules are with this, is that you need to continuously draw. You should not stop. Right? Um, you should not move your pencil off the paper for any reason, right? You cannot look at your paper for any reason. Well, if you break your pencil, drop your pencil, or if you go off the page, go ahead and look and be like, okay, I'll put it back on there, right? So think about whatever it is you're gonna be drawing from either a clockwise or counterclockwise, yeah, I did that right, um, type motion, okay? So I don't know why, but for some reason, I like to go clockwise. I always like to start in the lower left hand portion of what I'm drawing. And yes, I'm going to this whole contour thing. I've been like, oh, inside, no, inside out. Now we're gonna go ahead and like really analyze the outside um, for two minutes. So I'm gonna start down there on that angle. And that means that I wanna start down here. Okay, so if you're somebody that wants to go the other way, right? Maybe you wanna start on the top, you can start up here. Does that make sense? Okay, so blind contour one. Two minutes and go. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly record every little thing that I can see, and the whole idea is that my pencil should be drawing at the same time that my eyes are dragging slowly across the contour of what I'm seeing. So like. You want to slow things way down, and you want to record every little thing. Sometimes I'll even talk in my head about what I'm drawing. Like, I just made it to that like bottom part of the F. I'm kind of like on that second little beefy F thing. I'm moving all the way back, getting to those hydralis majority. Slow down. vision for this it just helps me flatten space and look at this as more of a shape rather than a form getting down to the elbow now finishing up that hand down to the buttocks getting to the cane I'm not worried about the negative space between the cane and the thigh because I'm just worried about the absolute exterior contour of my figure and I'm following that cane all the way down how much time do I have left 17 seconds Perfect. So you want to time this out to where you don't get finished early, because if you do, you're going to have to keep drawing. Okay, now I just got all the way around. I'm sure my drawing does not represent this. So at this point, I'm going to start working on interior contours. I'm going to follow that left leg up since I had extra time. Yeah, we okay. extra <laughs> time. Looks just like my subject, right? No, it doesn't. And the whole reason that we're doing this is because we're forcing ourselves to look cleanly at that, at that contour, okay? We're slowing our brains down. We're memorizing what we see on the outside. I wanna see things like this, okay? I wanna see things like this. A good blind contour has these weird little like extra information bits in there. It may not make sense when you're looking at the drawing, but it shows that you've slowed your brain down and that you've really dedicated your eyes to dragging along that contour. What we're gonna do before we even start the timer is we're gonna close one eye and we're gonna hold our arm out and out and stretch it and we're gonna trace slowly around what we see. That's gonna help you in terms
terms of describing a path for your way to get around it, right? Once you finish that, then we put time for the pain. Okay? So, first one's gonna be two minutes, right? The next one is gonna be a lot longer. It's gonna require you to slow much, much, much more down, much more down. It's gonna slow way down. We'll edit that out. Um, <laughs> and on the next one, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the ultimate contour of the whole thing, okay? So for me, I'd start with that like crutch thing that I work my way all the way around the cowboy hat and then I work my way all the way back down to that crutch. Then I go up over the figure here. So like if you would imagine this is a silhouette, okay? Like objectness versus non-objectness, okay? And then once we get around that whole thing, then we're gonna strategize how do we get in there and start describing interior contours, right? Does that make sense? Okay. I'll talk more about that um, five minute drawing after we finish our two. Cool? We're good, thank you. Um,